welcome to a week in my life it is monday evening right now and honestly i am thriving today i feel like i'm in a vibe i'm all by myself um but basically max has an away game tonight and we're about to watch that support him me and brody i have just learned to love these days yeah it's pretty much like a full day that i have on my own whenever he has an away game because like today he left before two and i'll probably get back at midnight so it is like a whole day um and i feel like at first i had to like get used to it but now i'm like woo like i just love my alone time and getting to do things I don't know on my own here if that makes sense i feel like this tiktok that i saw recently this girlfriend and she was like what my boyfriend thinks i do when he's gone all day and it was her like sobbing like looking at photos of them being like oh i miss him and she's like in actuality it was her like drinking mimosas and like taking a bath and online shopping like i feel like that's me today i'm just having an evening on my own so yeah we'll still watch him play hockey but i don't know i've just been having a good day on my own is all i'm trying to say i'm you're proud of myself being independent if you guys have been with me for a while you know how much i've improved with my independence i actually or we're having a night like i said i ordered pizza and a caesar salad from this place that i've never ordered from before so that should be getting here soon i guess we'll see how it is i just wanted to have the comfiest coziest night brody he's laying right here you can't see him and have some pizza a glass of wine while watching the game you know unwind relax for a long day i put on my new favorite cozy matching set so i can be nice and comfy to set the tone we are pouring up a glass of one of my favorites sauvignon blanc has actually always been my favorite type of wine especially this brand outer sounds that i just get on wink if you guys haven't gotten wine on wink before by the way they're amazing it's just the easiest way to get wine it's shipped right to your door so you don't have to make the extra stop for the liquor store and i know i actually have an amazing deal for you guys i'm giving you guys 40 percent off four bottles just like these I'll show these to you guys in a second. So it'll be under $39 and shipping is free. This is an exclusive offer. I know you guys won't want to miss. So I'm just grabbing my wine glass so we can get going. Like I said, Sauvignon Blanc has just always been my favorite because it's so crisp tasting and just like really fresh this bottle is literally $15 like you will not find this bottle anywhere else it's exclusive on wink oh yeah we like a heavy pour over here does anyone else when they have their first sip of wine they're just like oh you want to know what this tastes like to me and what it feels like when my box of wink wine gets delivered it feels like wearing my coziest matching sweat set the end of a long day and just like sitting on the couch and unwinding that's what this feels like to me as you can see i really enjoy my glass of wine here and there and like i said i've gotten this wine on wink in the past and that's because wink knows my taste preferences and what you do is take a really quick palette profile quiz on wink's website it's only six questions and then they'll match you with four wines personalized to your palette preferences so I've already talked about this one a bunch. Another one of my favorites is this Cabernet Sauvignon, a Cab Sauv, if you will. And I like to drink red wine in specific occasions. I love it with a good burger, a nice steak. I know that's how you're supposed to pair red wines anyway. It's really good when you grill, things like that. And then other than that, I normally will go for white wine because that's probably my favorite, like I said. The Sauvignon Blanc, can't go wrong. And then here's another really yummy white wine that I get on Wink. And then from the same brand, just another red wine that I was matched to, again, based on my palette preferences. And a little bit about Wink is that they actually work directly with vineyards and winemakers around the world. So you get exclusive access to small lot wine. And premium wine like this is always overpriced at liquor stores. But with Wink, you're getting high quality varieties made exclusively by Wink winemakers. So they're a fraction of the cost. Okay, this is so risky showing you all four at once. But obviously with Wink, it just makes it so easy to find wine that you love. I could not recommend enough. I'm actually getting a Right now, I think it's a pizza delivery. Woohoo! Brody's coming. He's so excited. Are you so excited for some pizza? Even though you can't have any. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, first look, everyone. Woo! Okay, this looks so good. I was nervous. Like I said, it was a new place. Oh my god, this is gonna be so good. This is perfect, buddy. And you never know when you're ordering a salad if you haven't had it before how it's gonna turn out, but this one actually looks so good. So I'm really excited. I just knew I needed to like mix in a vegetable. You know what I mean? Balance. It's all about balance. The setup, y'all. Got the Caesar salad going. And the hockey game. <laughs> oh, wrong way. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. 
This Caesar salad is bomb, by the way. It looks very basic, but it's so good. Yum! I don't know why I ripped this one <laughs> so weird. But basically, this is just me telling you that you need to dip your pizza in ranch, and if you don't dip it in ranch, like, what are you doing? Do you guys dip your pizza in stuff? Do you dip in ranch? Do you dip in other stuff? Comment down below, because I want to know. Go, Mac! There he is, number 20, if you guys can see. Less than nine minutes left in the third. Oh! Guys, look at someone's festive in their bandana. <laughs> I'm almost done with my pizza. I never normally eat this slow. I feel like I eat slow when I'm alone, but maybe when I'm eating or drinking like socially with other people, even just with Max, I feel like I like scarf down my food because I'm distracted, if that makes sense. But then when I'm by myself, I like take my time. I don't know. Oh my goodness, you guys. We're going into a shootout and I'm like shaking. I'm so stressed. I hate these. We hate the shootouts. Boo. That was so close. All right. I'm out and I think I could do another class. <laughs> Say hi to my vlog. I feel like they must miss you. What did you say? I said I feel like they must miss you. Well, I, miss that too, so. <laughs> I just did a bunch of this coconut milk bath soak because um, it makes the water just really coconutty and makes your skin feel really soft. I'm gonna light this candle and it's gonna be a vibe in here. The candle's going, the wine is flowing. Don't worry, I'm still staying hydrated. Are you coming to join? <laughs> he is so clingy. Cheers, everybody. Honestly, thinking about it, I feel like wine has such a time and place in my life. I'm someone that's so high strung and can be very much a workaholic. So winding down with my favorite glass of Sauvignon Blanc is such a treat. It's kind of an integral part of my self-care routine and I love that Wink introduces me to new wines each month that match my taste. Again, I would totally recommend taking advantage of my offer for 40% off, four bottles of wine, under $39, free shipping, the whole thing, link down below. You don't wanna miss it. Now it's time for some chocolate therapy. Uh-oh. You can't have any of that, it's chocolate. Aw, good boy. You're making me look bad. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I have not had this in the longest time. Where have I been? I've been missing out on living my best life. That's what I've been doing. If you wanna have the ultimate treat yourself night, order pizza, get some chocolate therapy, take a bath, have a glass of wine. I feel like a million bucks with that. Good night. <laughs> We're in Chile for the oh, day. Made it. Surprise. It's Tuesday afternoon. Look at how pretty it is. It's also the nicest day. And Max and I have been saying we've been wanting to do a day in Philly. And it's literally like 70 degrees today. I feel like I'm going to be hot in my outfit. But you have the right idea with shorts. Yeah, it actually feels cool right now. And I know because we're in the shade. Yeah. But it's such a nice day out. We're just mm -hmm. gonna explore. We're going to pub and kitchen right now. I Oh, Max, I realized we didn't go to park before we went to a restaurant called The Palm, uh, right? Oh, yeah, how did you just think of that? Because I saw a sign for uh -oh. a palm, and that made me realize that was actually yeah. the name of the restaurant. There's the sun, but yeah, a lot of people recommended that we go to Wait. park. Did we go the wrong way? What is this? <laughs> We're lost. Okay, we were going the right way. But a lot of people recommended that we go to this place called Park. And I feel like I can't even see you guys. Is it so dark right now? Um, so we we're gonna go there. But then my best friend Megan said, you guys should go to Pup and Kitchen. It's her fave. So that's where we're going for lunch. And then we're just gonna shop, walk around. Guys, look at how pretty it is out here. It's just so sunny and warm. And here is a restaurant we're going to. It looks so cute. This is how sunny it is out. It's very bright. Got my mask on. I'm gonna Max show you guys my outfit. <laughs> we just took some pictures right mm -hmm. here. Jeans have zero stretch. So a little snug. They're from Girlfriend on Revolve, but they're so cute. Like they're the perfect little light wash skinny jean. But top is also from Revolve. I can link for you guys. And my sunglasses, Max got for me our first Christmas together. They're Ray-Bans. And this, people were just applying to my story to link this bag, but I can't, because it's really old from Chanel, and they never repeat like colors mm. or anything. 
yeah I think they just never repeat colors so this I can't link sadly but these I can oh and these I also can't because they're a couple um they're a couple seasons ago from yeah Dior so there it is it. guys donuts secured everyone recommended federal donuts and they only had four flavors left so I said let's just do one of each they smell so good there's a cinnamon sugar a cookies and cream a raspberry something right there and I forget the other one but they're gonna be delish <laughs> give us a twirl would ya wow. <laughs> some Rita's Max's first one ever. Mm -hmm. I made us go on a route. Clearly, you guys can see we did a lot of eating and some more eating and then some more eating today. Um, but so worth it because we didn't eat that much. Yeah. Right? <laughs> well, my story is like our lunch and then donuts and then this. <laughs> oh yeah, well, we didn't have any of the donuts yet. So good. Yeah, I just had a little bite. We're saving. I'll probably do one. On um, the ride home. you guys, at Max's Games, they have read us, and I tried for the first time the other day, and it was like that was your first time. Of course. I thought you talk about read us like this is your childhood fantasy. I <laughs> I have since the other day since I had it. it was so good it like changed my life and so that's why I've been talking about it every day anyway so when we were about to leave we saw there was one like 500 feet away and so we had to get it mm. I got unicorn flavor <laughs> you guys are wondering it's purple and it's kind of just like I candy. would like it better if it was more of the custard and less of the really icing. I like yeah. the ice better than the custard mm -hmm. So you would just get the ice cream and I would just get the ice. Because I love just the ice. I got the cotton candy that you were out of the cotton candy today here. But at the game, at Max's Games, I, well, I say at Max's Games, I get cotton candy. I have one, yeah. but it was so good. So Maybe I would have liked the blended one better, too. I get that too, every game. I'm kind of doing that right now. On my no, own. I like it separate. Yeah. Do you guys like Rita's? Do you have it where you're from? So good. We're back home. We literally had the best day. We were saying on the ride home in Philly. It was like short but sweet. It wasn't even a whole day. It was like just the afternoon, um, but it was so fun. Again, I can link my avid down below. I took off my shoes, but I know I already showed you guys. And what? He has my sandals? Which ones? Oh, I thought you meant my Christian ones. <laughs> Yeah, revolve, revolve. The only thing I told you guys, these jeans are like so tight on my legs, but then they're like loose up top. I can't even show you. Loose up top. So then they just like slip down. But they're, I don't know. But they are really cute. Nice light wash jeans. And they fit me a little weird, but I don't know. The length of them is really good. I hope they're really cute. So I still really like them. And yeah, that's it for our day, evening, afternoon in Philly. It was so fun. Wait, I lied. Last thing I realized, I didn't tell you guys. This is just a chain actually from a necklace I got from Golden Hour Company on Instagram. It has a really big Louis Vuitton lock on it. Um, but I've just been liking wearing it as just the chain. There, it's easier this way. Because it's just like a really simple... Oh, there you can really see in the light. Just gold chain, but I like the twisty detail. So I've just been wearing it without the lock. And I really like how simple and cute. Happy Wednesday. Brody's getting anxious. He can tell. Do you know where we're going? He knows we're going on a walk. Honestly, it's the afternoon and I felt so... I have felt so anxious. Brody's anxious to go on a walk, but I have felt so anxious all day. I don't know what it is. I just feel like, uh, and I don't know if it's for my coffee or what, but it is such a nice day out. It is like so hot out. And so Brody and I just need to get outside and go on a walk. I know that will make me feel better, or at least I'm hoping. Let's see how it goes. You are the sweetest boy. Oh my goodness. It is so hot out. It is probably 70 something right now. This morning when I walked him, mind you, it was like 40 and I was like bundled up. The weather is so crazy. I'm already feeling better in the sun. Sunshine. I don't know what it is. I just wish I wasn't the type of person that was like easily overwhelmed with like a lot on my plate But I've just always been that way. Sorry, you can probably hear the highway And maybe it's just because I feel like I have a lot 
on my plate today. Oh, Brody's going pee pee. <laughs> so it's making me feel so anxious and like, I'm so scatterbrained, like my head's everywhere. I'm like, oh my gosh, it's hot out and it's sunny and like I should spend more time outside. So I should look at patio furniture and suddenly I'm like looking at patio furniture when I need to be doing work. And also, can I tell you guys, one of my close friends, sorry if this sounds weird, I just need someone to talk to right now. <laughs> one of my close friends was just telling me how Basically, she went off her birth control for a month and she said her anxiety went away. And I'm like, is it my birth control? Yeah, my mind's all over the place today. But at least we got some sunshine going. He's got a stick. Life is good, I'm okay. Look who's tired. <laughs> you guys, he's so tired. Oh man, you guys, I just watched back that clip when I was walking, cause I'm like, oh, Poor people have to listen to me so scatterbrained but that walked helped so much like I knew it would it just sort of like calms my mind and get some energy out so I'm not like cuz that's how I felt and um, yeah it's just one of those days I recorded my podcast this morning an episode for my podcast and I felt like I was in the same like anxious sort of like mindset so then I like wasn't liking how it was turning out the whole time when I'm editing through I'm either gonna be like okay we can salvage this or we're just gonna can it and try again <laughs> because I I can be like such a perfectionist I feel like with my content but I know you guys like the real stuff anyway so I'm here to tell you that this Wednesday is an anxious Wednesday and I don't know why like for me it's like I'm such a worrier like worrying over I don't even know what and I always look back at like times in my life like a year ago today or like two years ago or whatever and I think back in that moment and I'm like oh I was so worried about how this would turn out or about like this uh, this aspect of my life and then it's always fine so then I wish like future me could tell present me right now to just chill out and it's okay but it's like I feel like I can't even control it sometimes like I just feel so I don't know does anyone relate to me on this I need to go like be productive and like focus on little tasks like cleaning that always helps me going for a walk cleaning like literally vacuuming just makes me feel like everything's in order so yeah I don't know why I'm feeling like out of order today I don't know out of feeling sort. better I'm feeling more in order because I felt so out of sort and out of order earlier but um i'm feeling better because i vacuumed and i knew that was gonna make me feel better that was a tip that i know i talked about in my podcast Corey gave me and said that her therapist told her when you're having an off day and you're feeling like Ugh, and anxious go vacuum your bedroom and you'll feel a lot more put together so that's a trick a little tip that helps me i did a little bit of makeup because i am actually about to hop on i know i talked about this recently in a vlog from like last week i am being at a seminar it's over zoom and it's just like a personal branding chat and basically a longtime family friend of mine I I know I talked I'm having deja vu because I talked about this recently in a vlog and we had like a catch-up last week and sort of like to go over the plan of tonight and I'm just talking for all her students it she works at UNH she's an academic advisor and yeah I'm talking all about personal branding I'm about to get all set up we're gonna get going on that I think I'm going to break out the mic because I'm sure my audio will sound better that way on the mic than like on my computer you know so i'm just gonna get all set up that's the play update that went so well you guys we had the best chat they asked a bunch of really great questions and now i'm so tired i'm going to take off my makeup i just ate dinner and hop in the shower and crawl into my bed and i'll see you guys tomorrow thursday look at how good these sandwiches look you guys we got these everything I say everything bagel but they're like everything ciabatta rolls at trader joe's i can't believe it took me so long to have those and then some pesto chicken some avocado some mayo lettuce i wish i had like a big tomato i could slice but i only had these little ones that I cut up little. Hopefully these are really good. Max. Oh, I also have avocado. Did I say that? Um, Max did like a different type of cheese. Yours looks more sad because you don't have the tomato. Looks more empty. But keep you guys updated. These look really pretty freaking good. So far, I only made avocado toast with everything ciabatta roll, but it was 10 out of 10. So I'm assuming these would be the same. I didn't update them on our sandwiches. They were delicious. And whose was better? Mine. Brody. <laughs> Hello. You think yours is better? More sauce. Yeah, yours is more sauce. And more toasted. I think I like mine. It was more simple. And I like the tomato. Like the pine and tomato. Yeah. My and hair is you... looking wild right now. Yeah. And you, um, don't worry, I'm wearing a shirt, but you. You can tell you have a little strap. Yeah, I know what it looks like. Whatever. You had honey, no, not honey mustard. Hot, hot spicy mayo. Sriracha mayo. Mm-hmm. And regular mayo. 
You did? Uh huh. That's why it was so saucy. Mayo on one side, spicy mayo on the other. Thought you were gonna do like barbecue. Or no, I did that sriracha, a little sriracha. Yeah, I just did plain mayo. And you know what? I feel like for so long I was almost embarrassed to like mayo. Like I feel like so many people don't like mayo. I love mayo. And like so many of my girlfriends maybe are like, mayo's gross. And I'm like, I'm proud to love mayo. Especially aioli. Mayo is so, aioli, aioli is just like <laughs> a fancy name for mayo. Aioli is like mayo that they add a couple things to and they're like, it's aioli. Mm -hmm. We love that. I remember when I first started getting it, you'd be like, what is this sauce? I didn't it's know. so good. And I'm like, it's literally mayo. It's just mayo. That's it. Now we know. <laughs> and now some we love spices it. in there. Like garlic. Truffle. <sighs> yeah, like a truffle aioli is like, like truffle fries. oil oh. and mayo. <laughs> but yeah, and I like that mine had like spinach really good i'm having a hard time keeping my eyes open yeah me too you guys should oh yeah i didn't even tell you like it's nighttime but um you guys should get the everything ciabatta rolls yeah i was gonna say focaccia but that's not right, right. no ciabatta we should get focaccia rolls those focaccia are For, yeah is that what it's called focaccia 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 you know why i'm saying it focaccia why our gym teacher in what? Where middle, is this going? School? You sound like drunk. Was Dr. <laughs> Fashada. <laughs> Not Fakasha. Okay. It Just is like her. so late. Good night and goodbye. See you tomorrow. <laughs> <Not bad. laughs> Don't keep it in. We're keeping it. Hello. It's Friday. As you can tell, I lost my voice. I don't know what's going on, but I sound a lot worse than I feel. So anyway, Today is actually the first day of the Sephora sale. It's like their, I was gonna say semi-annual savings event. It's a savings event, I think they normally have it twice a year. So I went a little bit more ham than I thought I would, but it literally happens only twice a year, and so I kind of will wait. Like in the back of my mind, my favorite products that I need to restock on, I'll be like, oh, I should wait till the sale comes around. So I just wanna show you guys everything that I got. You can see in the mirror, I was just cozied up on the couch. If you can tell, it's like golden hour right now. I feel like the lighting in here is actually really good because it's like, sun's about to set. Anyway, yeah, I was just like working on the couch all day. Sorry, I feel like this week in my life vlog, I feel like I vlogged a lot in the beginning of the week and then I feel like yesterday, all I showed you was my sandwiches and today, we're just gonna have a little haul moment, um, but hopefully, yeah, I just vlogged more earlier on in the week. So everything I'll show you guys, I will have linked down below so you can shop my favorites since these are all my favorites, my go-tos, and some things are new, which I'll mention. Actually, I can show this first. This is new to me, but I've heard a lot of people rave about the Tan Lux, the Gradual Illuminating Gradual Tan Lotion. And basically, I've never tried a self-tanner lotion where it's more like gradual. You can kind of put it on your legs, arms, all over your body every night, every other night, because you guys know I do that with like the oil face tanning. Oh my gosh, I did not mean to flip you off. <laughs> with the oil face tanning drops I feel like they're gradual you can use them more often than like a mousse self tanner basically what I'm trying to say is I wanted to try something similar to that but like for your body so I heard a lot of great things about this um, I used it already and I really like it it is very gradual and the only thing I didn't realize about it I don't know if you guys can tell the consistency is like do you hear that it's like very liquidy like it's like water. It's kind of like milk. It literally looks like milk because it's just this white, really liquidy liquid. But I would recommend this. That's new to me. Let's do some of my all-time faves. How to restock in the Isle of Paradise. These are the face tanning drops. And this is in the shade Dark. The Dark is this purple color. The Medium Self Tan Face Drops is like a green color. And I think the Light is like a peachy pink color. Anyway, why does that matter? I use the dark ones because I like to be very bronze and yeah basically I'm just like a glowing bronzed goddess when I usually will use these at night I'll mix it with my moisturizer and I wake up in the morning and I'm like wow I just look like I was like laying on a beat and all I was doing is sleeping um so these are really fun and I usually use like four drops that's what I was gonna say I use a lot because I like to look really tan and then also another all-time fave is the Laneige lip isn't it called the sleeping mask? Yeah, lip sleeping mask. This is in, I'm about to say the flavor, the scent, whatever, vanilla. And I think vanilla has to be my favorite. I've literally tried all of them. Like a new crisp one. Oh my gosh, that is so satisfying. That's like before you like dig into the peanut butter jar when it's like a perfect flat layer on the top. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Anyway. 
so i'm really excited i had to restock on this because i am almost out also another all-time fave the all-time one of my all-time favorites the it cosmetics cc cream this is so like og beauty guru of me to like hold up the product with my hand but i want you to be able to see what it says and if you guys saw my instagram stories when i was showing all these products as well this is just like a repeat in case you weren't following me on instagram i actually have the light or the light medium right now but i got the shade medium because i'm just manifesting that i'll be tanner this summer and so i figured it would be smarter to go like a shade darker summer since i will be in the sun more and the sun will be stronger here you know what i'm saying but this is the best if i ever have makeup on i use the it cosmetics cc cream it's the only liquid makeup i will use in my skin because it has such a flawless finish but since it's a cc cream but there is 50 spf in it which is so important for your skin to use spf obviously and other great things anti-aging hydrating serum but like is that full coverage like foundation look so yeah such a flawless finish i actually prefer this is just like the normal one they have a matte one i think they have illuminating one but i find this one to also be pretty like radiant and just looks like your skin but better that's kind of the look it gives and then my favorite mascara of all time yeah these are my all-time favorites like i was saying the benefit roller lash looks like that this is fun this is like an ode to GLP my beginning days on YouTube when I would like hold up my little eyeshadows like that but this just makes your eyelashes look amazing I don't know something about the formula of the mascara the wand the, the applicator I don't know it's just so good obviously I have no makeup on right now I like have wet hair from the shower but um when I do use it my eyelashes look so good and whenever people are like oh my gosh what's on your eyelashes benefit cosmetics roller lash I need to speed up. I'm taking way too long. Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pencil in the shade Taupe is my, oh my goodness, is my favorite and is like the exact color of my eyebrows. So this is the eyebrow pencil I always use. This is the Bite Beauty Agave Lip Balm. I've heard good things about it. And I really like the like formula of it. It's not, I don't know, it's really moisturizing, but it like looks really nice. But it's not like sticky, you know, like the lip gloss, like the hair stuck in the lip gloss. It's not like that. So this is really nice. And I always love trying out new chapsticks since I'm putting them on all day long. You guys know the Sol de Janeiro Bum Bum Cream is my favorite moisturizer of all time. I literally just like covered my whole body in it post shower. And so I wanted to try, they have this new, I was about to say flavor again, Scent Balm Dia Bright Cream. And yeah, I just thought I would try it out. And I only got the mini one in case I didn't like it or something. But I would just try out the mini, see how I like it, maybe repurchase the full size one because these are so pricey the Sol de Janeiro creams and I love their chapstick oh I love their hand sanitizer oh it's right here I was gonna say where did I put it this is like more affordable from them it's only ten dollars but that same like bum bum Sol de Janeiro smell it smells so good you guys need this hand sanitizer this is like my third one I have it in my purse I have it in my car I have them everywhere because obviously nowadays in the pandemic you need a hand sanitizer but this one just smells so good I literally got Max one to put in his car I'm like sorry babe sorry if it's curly smelling but you need it because it's so good and well, anyway what was I was saying this one ten dollars the full size ones of these it can be so expensive so maybe try out the mini see if you like it but in my experience so worth it because it's just like the best smelling so moisturizing favorite shampoo shampoo dry shampoo of all time the dry bar detox dry shampoo i like the original scent the best it smells so good and all my blondes out there i'm sure you know about this because i feel like if you're blonde it's just a staple honestly one of the reasons i love it too is like my hair is wet right now so you can't i mean you can tell extra how my roots will be very dark and so if i use this on my root um i feel like it will sort of make my roots like a little bit whiter and it can kind of like blend in with my blonde hair so i'll use it on dry hair just to sort of like blend my roots in with my hair are any blondes out there with me that are watching like do you guys do this too this is the best dry shampoo it smells so good it literally smells like perfume whenever i'm wearing it max will be like oh i smell dry bar like he knows the smell because i'm like always using it and hate dealing with washing my hair it's just like a whole process anyone else okay last but not least the inky list niacinamide and hyaluronic acid my twin sister lucy was like raving about these she loves them they're so affordable and basically she was watching a lot of skincare by hiram she's been getting me into that getting me into his youtube channel and his videos and he raves about these and they're just really good like supplemental to add into your skincare routine bless you max it sounded like he just needs last but not least grab some i was gonna say acne well peace out acne that just must be the brand 
pimple stickers that if you guys haven't tried these you need to oh, you can't even let's open one so i can show you they're just like little stickers that when you get a pimple they make your pimple heal so much quicker they like this thing sounds so gross but it literally will kind of like suck out the like white inside the pimple that sounds really nasty um but even if it's not one with like a white head i feel like it'll just be way smaller of a size the next day like it will shrink your pillow pillow pimple and kind of dry up am i okay oh yeah here we go that's what they look like if you guys haven't tried them before they're literally your skin color so once you have them on i have done this before where i will like wear it all day during the day if i'm not wearing makeup or you can even put your makeup over top like these are just so genius i've like gone out in public taken brody on walks and i'll like have one on my cheek or nose or chin or whatever because they just blend in with your skin you can barely tell unless you're like really looking at someone up close you know so yeah that is it for my sephora haul sorry this took longer than I thought and I literally just took so much of your time. So I'm going to end off my week long vlog here. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.